Future nurses at the Johns Hopkins School of Nursing are learning some valuable tactics fight substance abuse by getting as close to the real thing as possible. 11 News reporter Omar Jimenez shows us how. Typically, our focus has been on the people who have a substance use disorder. This is about prevention. The prevention is part of an effort to identify young people at risk of addiction during routine medical visits. I'm Angie, and I'll be your nurse. How are you doing? Um... Not great. It's called SBIRT, or Screening, Brief Intervention, and Referral to Treatment. It gives future nurses the chance to play out current scenarios. Though they're interacting with an avatar, it's very realistic, and it very much replicates uh, what happens in real life and clinical practice with people who may be at risk. Statewide, the total number of unintentional intoxication deaths already reached more than 900 through the first six months of 2016, many of those related to substance abuse, which adds an extra layer of significance. And this is something that affects across the board. You have the educated, you have the uneducated, you know, so I think what the simulation does is actually gives you that confidence to go out there. The nice thing about the simulation is that it, we're using it as the capstone for our students, but um, that can also be used as a standalone uh, educational um, product. All to spread one key goal of this program, prevention before treatment is even necessary. Omar Jimenez, WBAL-TV 11 News.